Hi everyone, I'm Camila, a third year student. And I'm Chad, a first year student. And today we are your tour guides around the beautiful BCIT Burnaby campus. Before we get started, we just want to acknowledge the unceded traditional territories of the Coast Salish nations, which include Muskegon, tsleil and Squamish nations. It's a lovely day to show you around, so we'll meet up later. Sounds good. We are now inside one of the main student services buildings here on campus. We have program advising, the International Student Center, student enrollment, and as well as the Indigenous Gathering Place just down the hall. We are inside the Gathering Place here at BCIT. It's a beautiful space for Indigenous students to interact with other Indigenous students, faculty members, and speak to advisors. There's also fantastic programs here. You can see we have some cedar here where we do cedar weaving, cedar baskets, making cedar hats. There's even drum lessons where you can make a drum. On the north side of campus, we've got all our trades programs. That includes joinery, carpentry, and piping, just to name a few. Let's see if we can get into one of these workshops here, but I feel like I'm missing something. Look at that, I'm all geared up and ready to go. I think we found Paul right over here. Hi, Paul. Can you tell me a little bit more about what these joinery students are studying here today? They're basically, they're really just getting into the use of uh, stationary machinery. Um, when they start off the foundation course, uh, it's just all about hand tools and how to sharpen a chisel and how to make joints that fit properly together by hand. And then we build on those hand skills and introduce more and more machines um, that are really common in, in your typical cabinet making or a joinery shop. Um, everyone is doing a slightly different task right now, but just using the machines that they have been trained on. Sounds like there's a lot going on here, so I'll leave you to it. You okay, your awesome. Thank yeah, for thanks for coming by. That was really interesting. I learned a lot from him. Let's see what else we've got going on on campus. If you need a break from all the noise, I recommend taking a stroll on English Walk. It's a beautiful place with great greenery, perfect for a study sesh or even just a little snack. It looks like we've got some students enjoying the sun with me today. If we look even past that, we can see our Iron Workman's Tower. I feel like if you're going into that type of career, you really gotta love heights, uh, considering you're gonna be working on bridges and larger structures. But I think I'm gonna continue enjoying this walk. I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey, I'm on the rooftop of the Health Sciences Center here on campus and it is gorgeous and it is big. It is so big that it's over 111,000 square feet, which makes it one of the biggest learning hubs for healthcare simulation training in Canada. And because of that, there are 32 different health programs that people can take here on campus. I'm gonna go inside and check it out. Okay, now I'm inside the Health Sciences Center here on campus. It is a beautiful building inside and out. I also noticed there's so many rooms with state-of-the-art technology where students from around the world come here to learn. I also noticed a sign that said Simulation Lab, so I'm gonna go inside of it and see if somebody can show me around. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, good, how are you? Good, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Yeah, no problem. I'm just setting up for class coming in a little bit. This is an absolutely impressive looking mannequin. It does have some realistic features to it, I'm assuming. Yeah, we just got a high fidelity mannequin here just to emulate what they're gonna see in the hospital. Wow, and it's I can hear some breathing right now. Is that breathing going there? Yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, look at that, that's super cool. I can feel some air going in and out of there. So I'm assuming the point of this is to make sure to make things as real as possible for students so when they go out into the real world and get jobs that they're not overly surprised. Yeah, when they go to the hospital, hopefully this is going to be exactly what they're going to see. Wow, okay. Well, I won't we'll slow you down. I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Thank you for showing me. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. That health sciences building was cool, but I'll tell you what else is cool. The broadcast center here at BCIT. If you've ever thought of being a news reporter, news writer, maybe a camera operator, this is the place to be. Students like the people behind me here come to this school because faculty are from the field and they take that knowledge back and bring it to the students. This is the place to be if you want to become a broadcaster. It's warming up to a high of five this afternoon. If you walk along Gord Way, you can find the campus bookstore where you can find notebooks, pens, or anything you might need for class. So if you're forgetful like me, this is a very helpful spot. 
And just around the corner, you can find the school pub where you can grab some drinks and play pool with some friends. I recommend grabbing the poutine. It's the best one on campus. And if you walk right across, you can find a geared up store. Upstairs, we have the Student Association building. So let's go inside and check it out. On the main floor, we have the Great Hall, where we sometimes hold events or students can simply lounge. We also have a food court with Tripolos and Poke Pick. Behind me, you'll find the Student Association office. They provide food, health, and dental services, even free massages, so make sure you book that quick. It looks like there's something happening in the Great Hall, so let's go check that out. There's a lot of people, so hopefully we can find someone. Hi, sorry to bug Hi. you. Um, can you just tell me what's going on here? There's a lot of people, a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. uh, sure, so this is the School of Energy's Project Expo. So it's just all the final projects for all the departments in the School of Energy. That is so cool. Okay, so clearly you have a lot on your plate. I'm gonna leave you to it and oh, yeah, appreciate it. have fun. If this event wasn't happening here, you'd probably see some students lounging for some lunch, but this happens quite often. So odds are you're gonna see cool stuff like this. Now we're gonna to head to the library. It's a great place to relax, study, or work on group projects. Follow me. So we're in the library, so we gotta be a little quiet because people are studying. On this floor at the library, there's peer tutoring, media works, magazines, board games, computers, lots of things inside of this library that can help make studying super easy. And I also heard there's a place where you can take a nap. Can you believe it? Let's go see if we can find it. I think I found it. This is a sleep pod here in the middle of the library. Wow, look at that, eh? You know, I think I'm gonna get it. Uh, nice and roomy, pretty cool. After a long day of studying in our library, I always like to get my sweat on on our campus gym. Let's go change and check it out. Now here is our weight room where students can either get a lift session in or a cardio session in. The cool thing about these cardio machines actually is that they're Wi-Fi enabled so you can catch up on your favorite TV series. If you're not interested in a workout, you can always chill out and play some foosball with friends or even join one of our intramural teams. The rec center is an overall health center where you can visit a doctor or even go to a counseling session. It's really a place where you can either talk it out or sweat it out. One of my favorite classes to take was our kickboxing class. Even though there are multiple classes to take, considering I did Taekwondo for six years, it was a really nice way to unwind. Now after a long day of school, or if you're looking for the perfect place to have lunch, might I suggest Gishan Creek. Gishan Creek is an urbanized creek here on the BCIT Burnaby campus. Now think of it as a real life lab situation for a lot of students in ecological restoration, forestry, fish and wildlife, and recreation. It is a great spot to come and enjoy some fresh air. To wrap up my day on campus, I always enjoy grabbing a coffee with friends at the Ricks. I always order a caramel macchiato, but if I'm feeling a little hungry, I'll grab a chicken samosa. Hey, Chattis, I have your coffee over here. Hey, thanks. You know, we had a big video tour, but I feel like there's so much more to this campus. You know, I agree. I feel like people just have to come here for themselves and see it. Yeah, I agree. Well, come grab a coffee and check it out for yourself. Yeah, cheers to that. We'll see you on campus.